You're on West Bremer Radio. It's an online radio station. Download the app, westbremerradio.com.au. And we try to have interesting talent on this program, like myself. It's Saturday, the 11th of July, 2020. It's World Population Day. Believe it or not, we've got 7.8 billion people on this planet. And a lot of those uh, places around this great heritage city, a lot of people have passed through over the last few centuries and there's been a lot of interesting history associated with Ipswich. And each week we're going to talk to this bloke, Harold Peacock, about the history of Ipswich. And uh, we're going to talk about the history of the World War II Lee Enfield rifle, which I think was the 303 from an Ipswich gun shop. Little reminders of the former Mount Walker State School and the connection to the Grand Chester uh, of the 160-year-old house that Harold is researching. G'day, Harold. Hey, g'day, Danny. How are you going? Yeah, good, mate. Tell us about the Lee Enfield rifle. That was the 303, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. It was found in the Ipswich gun shop. Uh, and it was found in 1942. The original owner's World War II service number and his name were actually carved into the butt. Now, he was uh, Rory McDonald. Uh, who you know who, who's from the area, but he served in Darwin in 1943 mm. when it was being bombed. But the history of of him and this rifle that led to it is amazing because he was too young to enlist for the First World War. Right. But three of his brothers went. Right, so one earned a military medal for bravery at St Quentin in 1918. Yeah. Two other brothers signed up together on the same day, and both went missing together on the same day at. The Battle of Fromel in 1916. And never now, found. Might... The Battle of Fromel, a lot of people died in that, didn't they? Uh, exactly right. Well, one brother called back the next day, but the other one, uh, Archie, he was never found until just six years ago. He was identified, his remains were identified via DNA. Uh, so, And wow. that, that story is just all part of that, uh, that Lee Enfield gun from the Ipswich gun shop. That is amazing. Now, what about the reminders of the former Mount Walker State School? Yeah, I was just out there recently with actually the uh, uh, Salvation Army Flying Padre, which uh, was a, got showed around, a lot of fun. Now, yeah. that uh, Mount Walker State School, it's not there anymore, it's just a paddock now, yeah. but it was there from 1878 to 1967. Yeah. I just had a little bit bit of a scratch around there, and I found a, a nine-inch steel ruler and a 70-year-old hate which is just a nice <laughs> little reminder of the kids out there. Isn't that brilliant? And what about this in Grantchester? There's an old house that's 160 year old, and you're researching it. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, writing a book on a house. It's in Brisbane, it's a 160-year-old house, but it's got a really strong connection to Grandchester uh, out this way, which, of course, was obvious, originally called Big's Camp. Now, the Big family owned this house that I'm researching for 90 years. I only just sold it last month. Wow. Now, Big's Camp, Big's Camp was named after the original European settler, Francis Big, mm. uh, who, you know, who started the, the family out here. Mm. But... That's also the destination of the very first passenger train trip in Queensland that went from Ipswich to Biggs Camp in 1865. Now, Danny, there's a really interesting story about how it yeah. changed its name because the Queensland governor at the time, George Bowen, thought that Biggs Camp was, well, it wasn't posh enough right. uh, for such a, <laughs> an important event like the first train journey. Right. So he was a student of the classics. So he named it Grandchester. Grand be, meaning big in Latin and Chester meaning camp. So, in a way, it's still called Big's Camp. You are amazing, mate, and I love your energy and your passion for the subject. Each week, we'll talk to a Harold Peacock about the history of Ipswich and surrounds. And if you want to find out more about what Harold does with this passion about heritage and history of Ipswich, where do we find, or you've got a website? That's right, historyoutthere.com. Historyoutthere.com. Harold Peacock, he'll be a regular right here on the, this magnificent program. And he said, Great Weekender, which is Wake Up with Dr. Dan on West Bremer Radio.